Hey guys, it's Ryan from Sierra Trading Post and I'm standing out here in front of our Cheyenne headquarters to introduce you to Intense Angler's Tip of the Week. Hey there guys, John here of course, and today I wanted to share a quick little campfire cooking tip with you guys. Now this one's going to revolve around a pot suspension system that you can use to cook over an open fire. Now I'm sure you're well aware that there are numerous methods um, and techniques, tools that can be employed to allow you to cook over your fire. Now uh, of course you can go the simple route and just cook right over the open flames. A lot of meals are you know, easy to prepare that way. You're cooking right over the coals. However, there are those meals, those times when you need a little bit more control over what you're cooking. You may need to uh, reduce or you know, uh, heighten the heat uh, according to uh, what you're cooking. And that's where the pot suspension systems come in handy. And like I said, uh, this method is kind of unique. It's why I wanted to show it with you guys today. I think you're gonna really like it. It allows you to have a lot of control over um, the height of your pot cooking over the fire here. So let me explain a little bit what I've got here. So let me go ahead and show you how this works here. Pretty simple little deal here guys. First we've just taken two fork sticks on either end here. We went ahead and cut those to size. Now of course you can cut these to any size uh, dependent on your fire. And uh, we've, we just went ahead and sharpened the bottom of those sticks allowing us to drive them into the ground keep everything nice and solid in here went ahead and cleaned up the top a little bit of the fork stick so we don't got too much uh, you know excess going out on top and uh, it really is simple as that now where it starts to get um, uh, pretty cool here is in the cross the cross brace of this system here the pot suspension system first of all what we've done in the center is just created a small notch which allows us to attach um, our you know cordage in this case it's a wire a snare wire it's an ultra thin wire but I found that it's better than using something like paracord which is going to eventually melt through uh, and you stand the, the chance of dumping the contents of whatever you're cooking into your fire which of course you don't want. So uh, use a little bit of wire for that. We went ahead and fashioned a small pot hanger out of another section of fork stick, wrapped our wire around that and of course as you can see we're hanging the pot from that. Now where it starts to get uh, cool and into the uh, I guess trick as it were here is at the end of the cross brace what I've done is went ahead and just whittled down a triangular shaped uh, pattern into the end of the stick. Now what this allows us to do is to simply lift that out of the fork stick a little bit and adjust the pot by rotating it. And when we get it to the desired height that we want we just go ahead and set that triangular shaped end back into the fork stick. Now what's happening here if you haven't noticed by now is that that triangular shape is uh, going? To, it's wedging itself into the fork stick, and the weight of the contents of the pot are keeping it forced down in there, allowing this thing not to rotate anymore. So, uh, if we need uh, more heat, we can go ahead and lower that down to the fire. Uh, if we need just to keep our meal warm when it's done, we can go ahead and just raise that up to any height we want, and it's just a matter of setting that fork, uh, that triangular shape back into the fork stick. And like I said, it gives us an infinite um, ability to adjust the height of the pot that we're cooking on over our fire. Well, there you go guys. Just a simple variation on a pot suspension system that allows you a little bit more diversity and control when you're cooking over an open fire. Hopefully it's something you can add to your outdoor arsenal. Now before we wrap up here, I do want to thank Ryan and the crew over at Sierra Trading Post for taking the time to put together the intro for this week's Tip of the Week. Very much appreciated, guys. If you guys want to check out Sierra Trading Post here on YouTube, I'm going to include links right up here in the corner as well as down in the description area below that will take you over to their YouTube channels. They're putting out some really top-notch uh, professional stuff over there. They're even doing some live uh, broadcasts over there interactive where you can post comments below uh, kind of it's a, a really interactive process over there uh, just some solid solid stuff over there I've enjoyed interacting with these guys enjoying seeing what they're coming out with and I think you guys will too so other than that you guys take really good care I want to say thanks a lot for watching these videos 
Thanks a lot for the comments and support that you leave. Thanks a lot for the support and tip of the week specifically. And uh, you guys just get out and enjoy. Stay safe. And until next time, take the best care and we'll be seeing you soon.